Internet culture is simply culture. It just happens to be online. My log line is, if people are talking about it, we're trying to find a smart and interesting way to do a story about it. Hi, my name is Deja Tolentino. Hi, I'm Saba Hamidi. I'm the Culture and Trends Editor for NBC News Digital. I'm a Culture and Trends Reporter at NBC News Digital, and welcome to NBCU Academy. If it happens online, if it goes viral, if it's trending, we cover everything from influencers to you know, viral videos and sometimes assist on breaking news through the internet angle. We are responsible for writing daily stories as well as weekly features. I and mean, we also assist when folks need help on some bigger stories as well with the online sleuthing. Pop culture permeates into internet culture. There are influencers who dabble in entertainment. We sort of see everything that's catered to our algorithms, but we also look at the broader things that people might be talking about that we might not see on our own feeds. A trend is super subjective, I think. And it's really important for us as reporters and especially as internet culture reporters to do our due diligence in figuring out is this a trend or not. If I see something over the course of like multiple days and there are thousands of videos or maybe hundreds of videos of it with thousands of views, hundreds of thousands of views, then I would consider that a trend if I can't escape it. We do you know, sometimes look at what's actually trending on Google and that can help guide us in some way, shape or form. Or even like under certain hashtags or certain keywords that you search, just recognizing is this producing a interesting conversation online and is that a big conversation or is it inescapable then that is a really good indication of a viral moment etc being newsworthy. One of our reporters, Callan Rosenblatt, she's amazing. She flagged something that was kind of blowing up. This TikTok video where this guy was discussing the football prodigy Baby Gronk and Louisiana State University gymnast Olivia Dunn. The exact quote is, Livy rizzed him up. We were like, haha, this is funny. But we weren't like, let's write about it. Because at that point, it, it didn't make sense. She had flagged it on a Friday afternoon. By Monday, it became a thing where it was like, okay, maybe we should just explain it. And so she wrote a whole story called, who is baby Gronk? Did Livy rizz him up? What does any of this really mean? So that's like a perfect example of like what our team does. You know, you'll explain X person did X thing and caused X reaction on this platform. And then you kind of go into explaining who this person is, what they did, and why people are so upset about it. Angela, who's on my team, she covered the death hoax of the child influencer Lil Tay. When it comes to a lot of these really viral conversations, it kind of highlights an issue that people are discussing more broadly in culture. An issue like labor rights or child exploitation or, um, you know, bullying, things like that uh, are really easy to understand once you break the controversies online down to their like core elements. We want to make sure we are serving people who are extremely online while also not being condescending towards people who are not extremely online, explaining it in a way as if you were telling your mom, you know, a balance of voice and authority and deciding whether to have a little more fun with it. Understanding platforms and understanding the creators that are massively popular on them and understanding the behaviors of most users and how they interact with creators and each other online. I think that's like a crucial element of reporting on internet culture. I don't think you need to be an expert in every single platform, but I think you need to be able to know that Reddit might be the place to find the conversation around Ticketmaster with disgruntled fans because they might have a whole thread going and you might want to be able to know that and be able to go there and find people to talk to from there. Everything that's happening and playing out online, there's a reason for it. And, you know, I think that's something to keep in mind with our coverage. If people are talking about it, there's a reason, and we want to try and decipher why. Want to learn more? Take our free course, Fundamentals of Journalism, at NBCUAcademy.com. Thanks for watching.